The institution of slavery is at the very core of Houston's black history. Slaves came to Texas in great numbers between 1830 and the beginning of the Civil War. By 1860, the Houston census listed 567 female slaves and 502 male slaves. There were eight free Negroes in Houston. pick that white man's cotton you know it's gonna be just a solid mess the plantation system was strong throughout east texas and slave labor was at the backbone of its survival houston was the site of at least one prominent slave mart and in 1860 one historian reported having seen signs in shop windows advertising negroes for sale Apparently, there were no slave traders who operated in Houston over a long period of time, but the local businessmen dealt with them in the course of their work. Free Negroes were generally thought of as a threat to civic tranquility. They were subject to the same punishment as slaves and the same restrictions. State and local ordinances imposed an 8 p.m. curfew on all blacks. They outlawed the sale or delivery of liquor to slaves. Blacks could not take independent employment without the owner's permission. They could not have dances without the mayor's approval. To suggest that blacks living under these conditions were given an opportunity to learn reading and writing may seem out of the question. But educator Henry Bullock says that some blacks were, in fact, given that luxury. There were educational opportunities for blacks, limited though they were. Um, in the first place, uh, it was really not profitable to have a dumb, black, a dumb slave. So uh, as a result of the uh, large investments that were made in slaves, uh, they had to be trained. And uh, there were many instances in which uh, owners put their slaves out to be trained in apprenticeship, uh, some with, with, with some of the best engineers of that time. Uh, also, uh, there was a a kind of a working relationship between owner's children and the slaves. Dr. Bullock goes on to suggest that the educational opportunities given slaves gave rise to a black intellectual class. Although it was small in number, it helped to kindle the fires of the abolitionist movement and the civil war that followed. <laughs> like Texas, was not centrally involved in the Civil War, but many volunteered for war service in units such as the Bayo City Guards and Houston Artillery. News of the surrender of Robert E. Lee was bad news in Houston, but slave traffic nevertheless came to a halt. Blacks in Texas were emancipated on June 19, 1865. So many freed Negroes came to Houston after emancipation that the town enforced a 9 p.m. curfew to keep them off the streets and threatened to put unemployed Negroes to work without pay. But nothing could erase the joy of freedom. While many of the blacks who had lived as slaves on the premises of their masters remained there, working as domestic servants. These continued arrangements produced a racial balance in the city's wards, although there were some pockets of Negro concentration. Racial balance, however, was not long in disappearing from the Houston scene. Segregation deepened during the period from 1875 to 1930, almost to the point of forming two societies connected only by economic necessity. Segregation was firmly established in Houston churches and schools. The real point that established segregation 
was in 1873, I think it was 1873, in the Slaughterhouse case. Now, this was a case argued on the basis of the 14th Amendment that had nothing to do with blacks, whatever. As a matter of fact, it was with slaughtering in New Orleans. But what the court did in that case was actually to create two kinds of citizenship. One was a citizenship that was tied with the individual's, uh, the fact that the individual was a citizen of the United States. The other was the fact that he was a citizen of a given state. And the court ruled that the makers of the amendment provided for these two citizenships. So it split the citizenship of the Americans straight down the middle. In the early years of the 20th century, separate white-only and colored-only facilities appeared in city buildings, places of business, and public conveyances all over Houston. Many of today's black Houstonians have not forgotten those years. You'd get on the streetcar and the colored section would be full and uh, there'd be uh, a half a dozen seats uh, empty in front, but you had to stand up. Uh, if you uh, wanted to use the bathroom in town, you had to pick a special place. Uh, they, you know, they, these, these kinds of inconveniences, plus the fact that uh, very seldom did uh, uh, the kind of whites that you came in contact with uh, deem it necessary to give you any courtesy. There was very little, if any, uh, hospital care of Negroes before, uh, before I became a grown man. The, the first hospital for Negroes was uh, built through donations from a uh, philanthropic family here, Cullinan, I believe the name is, and was called the Negro Hospital. Uh, there, in the charity hospitals, there were segregated wards. Uh, this meant uh, Jeff Davis and, and Herman. Uh, in the private hospitals, uh, there was usually no provision at all for Negro patients. Houston's black community responded to Jim Crowism by duplicating the activities and organizations of the white community. Blacks established their own churches and church organizations. They acquired their own $15,000 Carnegie Library built in Fourth Ward in the heart of one of Houston's black neighborhoods. The black community developed its own class consciousness too. Doctors, lawyers, educators, and ministers were among the very prominent. Many of the well-to-do were of the mind that racial barriers were indeed God's will, and that a man must prove the worthiness of his life within the racial barriers set for him. Blacks, however, were not entirely submissive to racial prejudice even then. A near riot erupted in 1910 when a mixed crowd had mixed feelings about the result of a heavyweight bout between Jack Johnson and James Jeffries. Seven years later, a full-scale race riot did erupt, and it all centered around a place called Camp Logan. Music 